Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History prides itself on being a first voice institution. That means we don't hear it from somebody else. This is information that we know. And that makes it the perfect place to celebrate Kwanzaa, a week-long celebration of African American culture that starts the day after Christmas. Each night we've had a different community-based organization come in and partner with the museum to deliver song, dance, um, African drumming, uh, poetry. Lift every voice. Kwanzaa means first fruits in Swahili, and the celebration is centered around seven principles that include self-determination, unity, and purpose, principles that are reinforced through the performances at the right. We want people from all backgrounds and walks of life to really look at Kwanzaa as a celebration that they can participate in. As the celebration of Kwanzaa continues here at the right, COVID safety protocols are strictly enforced. We're doing a hybrid. Because of uh, COVID protocols, our facility, our theater holds about 317 people. And so we're allowing about 150 people to come into the space so they can be socially distanced. You do have to have a vaccination card. Tickets are no longer available for the in-person Kwanzaa events at the right, but you can still catch the evening performances. Every night our celebrations start at 7 o'clock p.m. and that is the very same time that it goes live on our website. And so people will have to go to our website to actually see uh, the live broadcast. There is no fee to watch the performance. For details on the Kwanzaa event, go to fox2detroit.com. Our mission is to open minds and change lives. And when people come here and celebrate Kwanzaa, that's exactly what happens. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox. Fox 2 News.